Hi and welcome to this series where we are solving quadratic equations using different methods and in this third video I want to show you how to solve a quadratic equation, the same equation uh, that we've been seeing looking at, at the first two videos, in the first two videos, uh, but now using the quadratic formula. What is the quadratic formula? So you should really really commit this to memory. It has to be so like at your fingertips. Okay, quadratic formula is x equals to minus b plus minus square root b square minus 4ac over 2a. Okay. And actually, this, what is a, b, and c? This is actually from an equation. This is actually given ax squared plus bx plus c equals 0. You must make sure that the a is attached to your x squared term, the b is attached to your x term, the c is the constant, and all of it must equal... Zero, so this must, this is actually the the condition for this quadratic formula to work. Yep. <clears throat> so in this case, what is my a good habit is you write down what is my a, what is my b, and what is my c. So for my a, for my a, I look over here. Okay, it's a one. It's one. It's not zero. Okay, because there's one times of x squared. So a is actually 1, oops, 1, what is my b, b in this case is 4, right, b is 4, and what is, <coughs> excuse me, what is my c, c in this case is negative 21, remember the sign actually follows the number negative 21 don't just write 21 the sign has to follow the number okay um yeah so now we plug it into the formula x is thus equals to negative okay this is a good habit i think every time you plug in a number put brackets so uh, negative b is b is 4 plus minus square root 4 b square minus 4 times a times c make sure the square root covers everything over 2 a cool and then at this point let's uh, simplify what i suggest is you simplify in three portions you first simplify what is outside here and then you simplify what is inside here and then you simplify what is at the bottom here. And of course, uh, some of it will be easier to simplify than the others. So what is in yellow will be, uh, in this case, um, negative 4 plus minus square root. Then what is in blue, you can use the calculator to double check. So it is equal to 100. And then what is in green, 2 times 1 gives me 2. Okay. Yep. So in this case, uh, from here, you can key into your calculator, I think it's, it's easier. Um, of course, your calculator cannot do a plus minus, but what you have actually is two cases, x equals to negative four, plus, this is the plus case, plus 100, uh, square root 100 over two, or, remember, it's an or, ne x equals to negative four, minus square root of 100 over two. And so this actually will yield um, three, or x equals to negative 7. Of course, we get the same answer because we are solving the same equation just via different methods. 